Alright everyone, um, I'm coming to you guys today asking you for a favor. Um, I will get to that after I explain some stuff. So, as n some of you, very, very, very few of you may know, um, I was born into a religion where my, uh, where we didn't believe in going to the doctor for a natural treatment of any sort. Um, my grandfather was actually the minister in that religion and my father was the minister's son so my family was very into that um, my grandfather and my grandmother actually died on purpose um, from lack of treatment for um, lung cancer and the other one was I believe some kind of stroke that caused my grandfather to slowly lose the ability to talk and speak and move and think over the period of a couple weeks um, as I learned last night, my father, after, after, um, years of what we could only assume was extremely bad diabetes that went untreated, has, um, started to have his foot rot. Um, it is not looking very good. From what I understand, well obviously he won't be accepting any kind of unnatural treatment for that. From what I understand, um, there is a limited amount of time left that I have with him and he will not get to see what I turn into with my life. And that was something very important for me to have my dad around to see. Um, what I did with my life. I have never been a son that you would necessarily be proud of. Um, I have a lot of fuck-ups, a lot of things that you would not be proud of if I was your son. I have, however, been very good at lifting. It's what I focused on to make up for many other failures. Um, for a few years now, actually five, six, seven years, I've, I've been telling my dad I want to be the strongest person ever, that I want to deadlift over 900 pounds, etc. Recently, um, I have been getting very strong, and I realize that now, that knowing that I have a limited amount of time with my father, that he may never see me this strong again, because obviously strength goes up and down. As some of you know, I have a meet I was intending to do next week. Um, and I realize that this meet may be the last time my father ever sees me working towards my goals and dreams. I realized today when I was deadlifting that my grip, specifically the skin on my hand, this is freshly healed from last week, is not up to par with how strong I am on pulling. And because of that, it will tear with slightly over 800 pounds, which would make pulling over 900 after two attempts with over 800 pounds nearly impossible. And I realized that if I was to do this meet and do badly at this meet, that I would feel like I was letting down my dying father. Uh, I would have to know that I failed and that the last thing he saw me do towards working towards my dreams and goals was failing. So today when I deadlifted, my goal was to go up to 850 pounds barehanded. And I knew if I did that, that it would tear my hands. And that next week at this meet, I would not be able to do my best. I, my hands would tear, most likely, and make me lose my grip. And my father would see me fail. So today, Rather than do 850 pounds barehanded, the night or the morning after finding out about my father's condition and learning that I have a limited amount of time with him, I decided to go up to over 900 pounds on deadlifts using straps. Um, on the way up on the lift towards the top, something pulled in my back, very slight, and I finished the lift anyway. It was very easy. I could have done it for reps. I probably should have done it for reps, but doing it for one seemed like enough because I don't want to get hurt. So, 
basically I have limited what I am able to do at the meet in order to ensure that I was able to show my father that I was going to do things, going to reach my goals and my dreams. Um, because of this, my father is going to see that even though he won't be there, that I will be successful in working towards these things. So what I'm going to ask of you guys today, for the sake of myself, because I believe everything comes down to selfishness, and for the sake of my father, I'm going to ask you to share this video on Facebook or tweet it, or if you have a channel, please share this link on your channel, or send this link to other channels that can share this link. And I'm going to ask you to give my father words of encouragement, and I'm going to ask you to pray for him, even though I do not believe in God. I would greatly appreciate any help you guys have to offer. My father is the best man I have ever met, by far. He has mental willpower and that I can't even grasp. I've never met anyone like it. The things that he's dealt with and put up with are incredible. They broke me, they broke my mother, they damaged my brother. My father dealt with three dead children, not abortions or miscarriages, but actual live living children that then died. And it crippled my family, and he held that family together for many years in extremely stressful, horrific conditions with people who did not deserve it. And he never got the credit he deserves for that. And now, he's never going to get to see me turn into something respectable. So, if you could all help me share this video, and let my dad know that people give a shit and understand, and are praying for him, and care about him, and, and want him to be okay, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. This is not for subscribers, this is not for views. I deadlifted this today for my dad. It's not something I would have ever been able to do in my lifetime without the support of my dad. He's made this all possible for me, and I owe him everything in this. From the genetics to the food that it took to all the years of paying for all my shit and the support and the belief he had in me. And now he's not going to get to see me turn into what I always wanted to show him I could. So if you guys could just share this and show that you give a shit and help me, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And here's the video.